This is Advocast for Thursday, September 10th. Our top stories, thunderstorms cause local flooding, 11 people displaced after an apartment fire, and deja vu for a veterinarian clinic. From the newsroom of the Victoria Advocate, this is Advocast with Bill Clough. Afternoon thunderstorms brought some welcome heavy rain to the area. The rains also caused local flooding. The automatic weather station at the airport recorded more than an inch of rain for the afternoon. More after this. Get news, information, and banking on your web-enabled mobile device. To learn how, see our Get Mobile ads in the Victoria Advocate or go to victoriaadvocate.com slash mobile access. With those rains comes the question, will it mean more mosquitoes? Maybe yes, maybe no. Depends on who you ask. In the newsroom is David Tuis, who is covering that story. David, what's the answer? Well, there's actually two schools of thought on that. Uh, Doug Cochran, uh, who's the director of the Parks and Recreation Department for the city and in charge of uh, mosquito spraying for the city, said he doesn't think we're going to have a major outbreak with the rain. And his theory on that is it's been so dry for so long that there won't be any puddles of water left uh, for the mosquitoes to breed in. But Dr. Bain Kate, who's in charge of the uh, Victoria City County Health Department and spraying outside the city, said that he thinks that uh, the weather's cooler, at least in comparison to this past summer, and so the water puddles won't dry up as quickly, providing a place for the mosquitoes to breed. The city has received a $500,000 state grant to develop Lone Tree Creek Park. About 125 acres will be used for the park, which would include a $370,000 water playground. Other improvements would include a pavilion with 10 tables, five practice ball fields, five practice soccer fields, parking, and restrooms. Construction should start late next year. For years and years, Dr. Clinton Barrett used an old medical barracks from Foster Field as his veterinary clinic. He retired in his 90s. Today, that same building is enjoying new life as the Crossroads Veterinary Clinic. The first day was pretty exciting, actually. We had uh, several appointments um, from small animal to large animal. I wouldn't say it was an uh, extremely busy day, but it was, it was busy enough for the first day. It allowed us some time to kind of work out some computer glitches and, and billing questions and, and you know, just a, uh, equipment type questions that we had. And uh, it, was, it was a good first day. The forecast for Victoria and vicinity for Thursday, occasional showers and thunderstorms mainly after 1 p.m. Chance of precipitation, 80%. High near 88. For a Thursday night, a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly cloudy, low of 73. Finally, a bit of trivia for September 10th. On this day, 163 years ago, Elias Howe was granted a patent for the sewing machine. Patent number 4750. That's Advocast for Thursday from all of us here at The Advocate. Sometimes we're in stitches. I'm Bill Clark.